Assalamu alaikum. Yesterday I posted a tweet showcasing how I take notes on YouTube videos in Logseek and it kind of blew up. So because of the popular demand, uh, now I'm showcasing how I achieve this in Logseek. First, let's take a look at how it works and what are some of the features that I like about this workflow and then we'll talk about how I've implemented and how you can implement it too. So let's open the Logseek app and let's start with this note. And these are my notes on the introduction to quantum circuits lecture by Kiskit. And as you can see that I've embedded the YouTube video here and all of the notes from this YouTube video are uh, shown here below that video. And you can see that all of these notes are timestamped as well. For example, if I want to learn about uh, uh, if I want to learn exactly what she said about polyvigate at 831, I can simply click on uh, this timestamp and it would start this video at that location at that time. Instead of you know opening a new browser tab or browser window, which is really unique. I really like this. Another thing is that now if I want to take some notes, for example, about here polyzgate or polyvigate, what she's saying, now here I can type, but now I can't see the YouTube video. So what I can do instead is that if I click on this here, right click on this dot and say open in sidebar, then this these notes will also open in sidebar. So now uh, if I go to the poly Y gate and oh, wait a minute on the block sphere. Yeah, this, this part. Yep. So if I write something here, for example, if I want to take some notes, this is where I can take notes while watching the video. So that is very helpful. Another thing what I like to do is uh, that instead of having all of this extra information which really clutters this whole space, uh, I can simply click on this yeah, dot here, YouTube embed, and now only this video will be shown in this pen, which is very great. Now if uh, I can, for example, move to 928, um, but she said at 928 and then carry on taking notes only having this video here. Now let's see how I've implemented this. If I go to the templates, you can see that I've defined a simple template for YouTube videos here, and it will contain all the metadata, for example, different tags that I can specify what, for that video. What is the status? Is it processed or should, do I have to process it? Who was the presenter, link to the video, etc. And after that, I have defined a section where I will place the YouTube embeds. And after that, there's a section for notes where I can take notes. So how I can use this is if I go to today's note, I can simply type template and then insert YouTube. And then let's go to the YouTube and here, for example, here, this is the video. I'll simply copy this URL and here I'll paste it or embed it here. There's a plugin, for example, embed. There's YouTube, embed YouTube video. And then I'll simply paste the URL here. So you can see that now that video will be embedded here. And for metadata, I can, for example, here add whatever I want. Who was the presenter? What was the link to the video? What is the original title? When was it published? For example, it was published on October 5, 2021. I can paste that here when I process that. So I can say uh, today. Yeah. So now let me close this from the sidebar. And now I can simply, for example, here, I can open these nodes in the sidebar. And here I'll simply just click on this uh, dot here. It will open this video on this panel. And I can quickly go through this, for example. Here, He's talking about, let's say something polygates. Let's suppose he's talking about polygates. What I can do is that at that time, by pressing control plus shift plus Y, 
Edward and set a timestamp to that same time that is 11.54 and then I can take notes here and then for example after a little while he, he talks about something else then I can I can take notes here as well and we can move on for example now control shift y the uh, shortcut key is control shift y and I can keep going so that's the basic gist of how it works or how I take notes so now if I want to again go back to 11.54 I'll just simply click this 11.54 and now you can see that it was back to 11.54 uh, another thing that uh, Logseq it has ported is that here, for example, if I press escape, T, W, now it goes into the wide mode. So here now the width of the YouTube video is increased, which would be beneficial in some cases. And if I, for example, here, that would be also responsive as well. Another thing that one needs to keep in mind is that by default, for example, if I go to settings, edit custom CSS, I've added a small custom CSS, for example, iframe, if ID starts with YouTube player, then its height should be 600 pixels. That, that's just what I prefer or what I've um, fixed here. So if I take that out by default the youtube video doesn't look very good for example here you can see that it's very its height is not very manageable or preferable you can say so it's not very good so what i've done is that i go to if i go to settings then added custom css and then if i put that a CSS style bag here I can say 600 or 700 whatever so now the height of that YouTube video or frame would be this now I don't have to do this every time so this is just once if I specify the side once then it will work uh, every time so if I go back now its height is 700 and yeah so you can specify whatever height you want this way so that is really good another thing that i really like about this is that when i publish these notes for example here uh, this is my site where i've published these notes so here log.admitter.com uh, this all works there as well for example these are the notes and these are the timelines if i press this timestamp 649 it would open that here as well. So it won't you know, open another video, etc. So uh, it also would create for sharing those public notes as well. Now, another thing that we need to keep in mind is if and how we can export these notes. So for example, if I go here and right click on this um, dot and copy as, and then copy this as text and copy to clipboard. And if I paste that into VS Code, then you can see that here it is using the log seek specific syntax, YouTube, timestamp 15, and overview, and all of that here. So this won't work in Obsidian or any other Markdown related app first because it's not standard Markdown. So there are a couple of options of how we can deal with that. One being that we can use regular expressions to uh, find and replace or simply remove this uh, and the other is for example we can write a simple program in python javascript whatever that would be able to parse this as well so in case of markdown for example if i copy that and paste that here here you can see that this is a simple regular expression which would capture this for example youtube timestamp 15 and then I can use this to replace that here. Now this, this would be the link and this would replace that with a standard YouTube video link or timestamped link. And then this would be a standard markdown. This would work in any of the markdown application, for example, in Obsidian or Bear or whatever.
before I was using this method that is manually using regex to replace the links to the standard markdown for example in VS code I can simply type control s to bring up the uh, find and replace command let me quickly remove that so here in find I can copy this regular expression here paste that also be sure to use the regular expression button as well so uh, once i've enabled that i can paste the regular expression here it would highlight these meaning that it would replace these and i would simply replace that with this expression so now this is the regular markdown this would work anywhere and i can copy that anywhere as well but since mm, uh, i wanted to um publish a video showcasing how this can be done i wanted a better way to or a more streamlined way to process these nodes so i wrote a simple javascript file uh, program or script you can say that would process these nodes automatically and i've also added that in obsidian so when i for example let me create a new node this is an empty node uh, if i want to let me copy that copy as text copy to clipboard now if i want to paste that here um, by pressing ctrl p and going in going into the command prompt and there's an option here for example process log sec process timestamps now it would ask should i remove timestamps or not uh, if i say that remove times Stamps, that is yes remove timestamps and when I paste that so it would remove all of those log six specific timestamp features so it would only paste that and those nodes with all of these latest equations and links and all that just it would remove those timestamps and the other option is let me control Z and copy that again the other option is that if I want to again process log sec process timestamps and no i don't want to remove timestamps so i'll now i have to give it a youtube video link as well this is because uh, we don't have any information about the link here as you can see we don't have no, uh, any information about what is the youtube link so we have to manually paste that here so if i take that here or i can simply for example right click copy video url and then here in the enter video link i'll paste that here now in the clipboard we have these process nodes here so this is a standard markdown link for example here as you can see this goes to the youtube video and at the timestamp 15 and same goes for 336 at 216 but when i click on that it would open in the for example browser window it would open a new tab where it would Features start from 336 that we can also so um, it works for example it is exportable but it's not very uh, good uh, as compared to log sig where for example clicking on a timestamp would uh, start the video embedded video there so that kind of functionality isn't in obsidian as of yet but we can for example have best of both worlds take outline type nodes in logseq and then we can export those to obsidian uh, later on if we want so that's one way now how to add the script that is this javascript script into obsidian or how we can use that in obsidian so for that there's a community plugin called quick add here you can for, for example search for here in browse and quick add this is the plugin you can install that and enable that so in the quick add setting first we have to for example manage go to manage macros i've all, already defined logsic process but for the time being i'll delete that and define that again so now i want to say logsic process and i want to add this macro for example here i'm adding macro uh, another thing before that you have to for example this is the uh, javascript script okay you have to place that here for example uh, let me quickly 
remove this. Uh, I have a folder defined here, resources, scripts. I place all of these scripts here. You can't see that here because Obsidian doesn't show uh, JavaScript files, but if I open that in, okay, yeah, notes, resources, scripts, you can see that I placed that here, process, log, seek, timestamp. This is the JavaScript that um, that would process all of those nodes. So I've placed that here in this world as well. So after I've placed the script there, I can go into quick add, manage macros, log seek process, the macro I've defined. Um, and when we configure that, there's an option, for example, here, user scripts, I can add a user script. So here by clicking on this, it gives me these options, what, which script we want to add. So I want to add process log seek timestamps. I've added that and now I can close that. So this would define a macro manager. And now uh, here I'll remove the uh, log seek process timestamps as well. I've already defined it here, but I will define it again for you guys. So now we can, for example, here I will say log seek process time stamps, and this would be a macro, okay, add choice. And now uh, by doing this or by clicking this flash light button, uh, this would enable it, for example, we can select it from the command, from command palette as well, the obsidian command palette, can, which we, uh, invoke by pressing control P. So I can choose that and we can also define a hard key for this as well. So uh, here in the setting menu, I would simply say log six plus timestamps and the other process, for example, the manage macros in the manage macros, we define this log six process. So I can select that. So that's all it takes. Now, when I, for example, here, let me, when I press control P and search for process that shows up here as well. Okay. And I can also define a hard key for it as well. So hard keys process. And here I can define, let's press control all L. So that would activate that as well. So let me just quickly remove all of this and I'll press, I'll use the shortcut key to add that again as well. So copy as, copy to clipboard and control alt L when we, now this activated that script and now if I will simply, uh, should I remove timestamps? Yes, remove timestamps and now we can paste that here as well. What this script does is it reads from the clipboard. For example, here we we have copied that, so it is in the clipboard. It reads from the it reads text from the clipboard, processes it, and also it again uh, writes text to the clipboard as well. Um, I'll probably fix that in the future where it would uh, add that text in the where is it at the cursor position, but for the time being, it just simply places that text in the clipboard and we have to paste that here again as well. So that's the main workflow that I use for processing these videos in LogSeq and how uh, we can export these notes uh, to other Obsidian or Markdown, standard Markdown syntax as well.